She's coming to us live tonight from Tom Wolf's campaign in York, Pennsylvania. Jacqueline? The Wolf Pack is gearing up. Doors don't open until 8 o'clock tonight for supporters, but things are already getting underway. You can see there's a big American flag behind me, tons of Tom Wolf signs. Wolf was here a bit earlier testing the mics, getting up on stage, getting ready, but he tells us he's not going to give any television interviews until after the night is called. Now, I spent the day in Tom Wolf's hometown talking to all of his biggest supporters. One man tells me he thinks he already earned a big win. Take Listen. In this town, just like I was. So we've both been around a long time. Matter of fact, I've been around a little bit longer than Tom, but uh, I've I've watched him come up through the community and uh, watch the good things he's done, not only for our town, but for the city of York and, and the whole area in general. And so I know he's done good things, and he's a uh, he's a gentleman that you can trust. I think if Tom Wolf tells you something, he'll do what he says he, that that he can do for you, and he will help you out. Coming up at 5.30, we'll talk to some of Tom Wolf's childhood friends, some of those people we spent the day talking to, and we'll give you an update on what the stadium is looking like, how everything is shaping up here. But for now, reporting live in York, Jacqueline Paula Castro, WICU 12 News. This evening, we have live coverage from Tom Wolf's campaign in York, Pennsylvania. That's where Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Paula Castro is standing by live. There's so much hometown pride here in York today. Uh, the public isn't allowed inside the baseball stadium until 8 o'clock tonight, but preparations are underway. Everyone here in York is sporting a Tom Wolf yard sign or wearing a Tom Wolf button today, especially one woman I talked to at a polling location earlier today. She says that she used to hang out with Tom Wolf in high school when they used to go to her parents' movie theater. Take a listen to what she told me about Tom Wolf. It is truly amazing um, how a hometown small town boy um, can get his name across the state uh, how people seem to be rallying around him um, I think because they see the sincerity of him uh, it, it, it's it's awesome it's it's just amazing to me Patty told me she believes Tom Wolf will win tonight and public polling does support that as well one analyst actually told me that he believes it would take an act of God for Tom Wolf to lose but of course we'll have to wait to see what happens tonight reporting live in York Jacqueline Paula Castro WICU 12 news this evening we have live coverage from Tom Wolf's campaign in York Pennsylvania that's where Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Paula Castro is standing by Tom Wolf has been all across the state of Pennsylvania, but tonight he's in his hometown of York for election night. Just a few months ago, Tom Wolf was pretty much a political unknown. Now the supporters I talked to today are calling him a political heavyweight. I spent the day in Wolf's hometown, and I'm pretty sure I found one of his biggest supporters. Take a listen. You have no idea. The word is beyond me. I just think he is one of the finest people I have ever known, and for him to come from this small town and to rise to this point in time in his life, for all of us, we're just, well, we're spastic. <laughs> Now, I talked to Wolves Handlers just a few minutes ago. They tell me that he's not going to be giving any television interviews until this race is decided. Right now, they say he's at home with his family, watching as the results come in. There's a lot of anticipation here tonight. Doors open to the public at 8, and of course, we'll be watching these results very closely. Reporting live in York, Jacqueline Paula Castro, WICU 12 News. Pennsylvania, Jacqueline. Tom Wolf says he's the luckiest man on the face of the earth. This race was called about two hours ago. But now, York's hometown guy could possibly be headed to the governor's office. Wolf made a quick speech where he talked about jobs, education, and the economy. Take a listen to a bit of what he told us. Just having 15, 16 months of your good will, your good wishes, your good feelings has made all the difference in the world for me, and I just really appreciate it. So give yourself a big hand. Most of Wolf supporters have already left the stadium, so it's quiet right now, but I can tell you it was really loud earlier. Lots of cheering, lots of support, and those supporters tell us that they're going to continue to follow Wolf all the way until Election Day in November. Reporting live in York, I'm Jacqueline Paula Castro.
We were following the election results on Tuesday when a businessman from uh, central Pennsylvania, Tom Wolf, won that Democratic nomination to be the uh, candidate for Pennsylvania governor. Business and community leaders in Wolf's hometown, they are rallying to support that new candidate for governor. They call themselves the Wolf Pack. And this morning, the 12 News Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Policastro brings us the story of his rise from hometown boy to candidate for governor. Mount Wolf, Pennsylvania. This is small town USA, a place where everyone has an American flag on their porch and a Tom Wolf campaign sign planted in their front yard. Of course, the old saying you know is that everybody in a small town is rather famous, but the famous that we were with each other was knowing that we could help each other and did. Mary Toomey told me she's known Tom Wolf since the day he was born. When Wolf was 10 years old, he sang a solo in Toomey's church choir. I just think he is one of the finest people I have ever known, and for him to come from this small town and to rise to this point in time in his life, for all of us, we're just, well, we're spastic. <laughs> the pride in Mount Wolf is obvious. I know Tom Wolf because uh, he was raised in this town just like I was, so we've both been around a long time. Some supporters think Tom Wolf's success has a lot to do with being raised in Mount Wolf. He's a gentleman that you can trust. I think if Tom Wolf tells you something, he'll do what he says he, that, that he can do for you and he will help you out. He's just a down to earth person. On primary election day, several Republicans told me they switched parties just to vote for Wolf. It wasn't quaint and quiet on primary election night. It was one big party with sincere cheers of support at the local baseball stadium. The spirit of this place propelled Tom Wolf to win the Democratic primary for governor. At the beginning of the year, Wolf was a political unknown without a heavy ground game. Then he took out a big TV ad by touting himself as a hometown guy. Tom Wolf, Democrat for governor. It's this campaign commercial, Tom Wolf in his Jeep, that put the politician in the spotlight and now in the race for governor. It is truly amazing um, how a hometown, small town boy um, can get his name across the state, uh, how people seem to be rallying around him. Um, I think because they see the sincerity of him, uh, it, it, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's just amazing to me. Mount Wolf is the kind of community where people look out for each other. It's named after Tom Wolf's great great grandfather. His family business is still here. Luckiest man on the face of the earth. As Wolf runs for governor, his life is changing. But there's no doubt this place will stay the same. Tucked behind railroad tracks is the home Wolf's grandpa built, the home Tom Wolf still lives in. There's a campaign sign planted in the front yard, and Wolf's Jeep parked in the driveway. Future, a promise, Pennsylvania's worthy of that. Reporting in York, Pennsylvania, I'm Jacqueline Policastro.